Hello students. In this video class, we are going to understand about the types of muscle. And this topic is from your 11th grade chapter called Locomotion and Movement. How many types of muscles are there? And what is the structure of skeletal muscle? We are going to understand in this video. Here we go. Types of muscle. If you look at the human body, there are three different types of muscle are present. And the study about the muscles and the branch of science which deals about the muscle called myology. There are three different type of muscles are located in our body. Look at the first type of muscle. The muscle which are present in our heart, we call the cardiac muscle. Do you remember student, we already learned in body fluid and circulation chapter, our heart is made up of myocardial muscle. You got my point? And the muscle which are present in a heart called what tell me? Cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscles are involuntary. We cannot control. We cannot control the movement of this muscle. Yes, students. Look at the next type of muscle. Next type of muscle which are directly attached to a skeletal system, bone. That muscles are called skeletal muscles. You got my point? Skeletal muscles or striated muscles. Clear. The third type of muscle, third type of muscles which are present in our elementary canal, urinary bladder and these muscles are called smooth muscle. These muscles are called what tell me? Smooth muscle. And here you need to understand skeletal muscles are controlled by us. It is voluntary voluntary in action and what about the smooth muscles and also cardiac muscle? These two type of muscles we cannot control involuntary. You got my point. Look at here. Now we are going to understand the section of muscle. What exactly inside the section of muscle? Look at here. Section of muscle. Now in this section of muscle, if you take the complete human body, I told you there are different different type of places, different different muscles are present. Look at here. I am taking this tricep muscle. Look at here this tricep muscle and this tricep muscle is what? Skeleton muscle. I told you the muscle which is attached, directly attached to the bone. We call the skeleton muscle. Moreover, student, everyone remember the muscle attached to bone with the help of one more connective tissue called what? Tendon. Clear? Tendons are connect muscle to bone. Clear? Look at here. Now, one more time. Look at here. I am taking the skeletal muscle and this skeletal muscle surround around the skeletal muscle. Connective tissue fiber is there. Connective tissue membrane is there. And that connective tissue membrane is known as epimysium. You will get this uh, membrane arrangement from out to in and in to out in neat like a competitive purpose. The connective tissue membrane which surround around the muscle, outermost layer of muscle, we can say epimysium. Clear? And if you closely look at the muscle, inside the muscle there are small small bundles are present. Look at here, these small 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 bundles are there and these small 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 bundles are called the fascicle. That means skeletal muscle is formed by the fusion of many small small bundles called fascicle. I am clear. If you closely look at the fascicle, inside the fascicle also small small bundles are there. Look at here in these small small bundles, I am taking one out and this one is called a muscle fiber. So what do you mean? Many muscle fiber fuse to form fascicle, many muscle, ma many fascicle fuse to form muscle, complete muscle. You got my point? Is it clear? Now, if you closely look at the membrane which surround around the fascicle, look at here, there is a specific membrane is surround around the fascicle and this membrane is known as perimysium. This is called what? Perimysium. Remember student, outermost covering membrane of muscle called epimysium and the connective membrane is sheath which surround around the fascicle we call what? Perimysium. Next, if you look at here, muscle fiber, muscle fiber also, look at here, surround around the muscle fiber also, one more connective tissue membrane is surround, that is called endomysium. So, in the examination, in the neat like a competitive purpose in MCQ, you will get the question, arrange these membranes from out to in or into out. So if you are, if they ask question, arrange this membrane from out to in, what is your answer? The outermost covering membrane. Yes, epimysium. Next, middle one is called what? Perimysium. 
the innermost one is called what endomysium if they ask if they ask you to, to arrange from the in to out what is your answer endomysium innermost one next perimysium next epimysium you got my point now look at here this is called what will be muscle fiber if you take muscle fiber look at here inside the muscle fiber also small 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 many myofibrils are present so this structure i can tell what myofibril many myofibrils are fused to form muscle fiber many muscle fiber fused to form fascicle many fascicles are fused to form muscle skeletal muscle now you look at here i am talking about the myofibril inside this myofibril there are two type of contractile proteins are there this is called secondary contractile protein or actin protein and the second one is called myosin or primary contractile protein so primary and secondary contractile proteins are present in where myofibril I wanted to explain, I wanted to clearly explain the structure of myofibril. Now students, let us understand the structure of myofibril. Before we go to the structure of myofibril, let me explain a structure of contractile protein first. If you understand the structure of contractile protein, it would be very easy to understand a sliding filament theory. I already told you in the muscle fibril or myofibril there are two different type of contractile proteins are there the first contractile protein called what myosin then what is the structure of myosin look at here myosin is also called a thick filament this myosin is actually polymerized protein in this polymerized protein many monomeric protein called meromyosins are there many meromyosins are constitute to form a one thick filament keep in your mind student many monomeric proteins are constitute to form a one thick filament if you closely look at that each and every monomeric or uh, meromyosin if you look at the meromyosin i told you look at here this is one meromyosin second meromyosin many meromyosins many meromyosins constitute to form a one thick dark thick filament remember all of you and if you look at each and every myosin each and every meromyosin if you look at it has one head part is there globular head part we call globular head part and the second one is called short tail part is there each and every monomeric or oh, monomeric meromyosin has globular head part and the short tail part is there on the top of this globular head part it has a one binding site called a actin binding site student keep in mind meromyosin thick filament structure of myosin in this myosin head part actin binding site is there the top of this one actin binding site is there next if you closely look at here and this head part we can say the monomeric unit what type of monomeric units are there heavy meromyosin i told you myosin is thick filament it is a polymerized protein which have monomers of meromyosin look at here this is one meromyosin second mero many meromyosins constitute to form a one thick filament i am talking about one meromyosin this is one meromyosin each meromyosin has globular head part and in the head part the top of the head part actin binding site is there and this head part made up of what kind of meromyosin heavy meromyosin and it has a short tail and the tail is made up of what tell me light meromyosin keep in mind moreover student i told you there are two type of binding sites are there in this meromyosin protein first one called actin binding site which is go and bind to the actin second one called atp look at here this binding site is called atp binding site what does it mean myosin protein take one atp 
hydrolyze the atp into adp and inorganic phosphate the head part will lift up and attach to the actin thin filament during muscle contraction i'll explain you a little later look at here this is the structure of what myosin come to the structure of actin actin filament is also called a thin filament i told you actin myosin actin myosin alternatively they present in the skeleton muscle that's why the appearance of the skeleton muscle is stripped muscle you got my point now if you look at this actin actin is also called the thin filament and this thin filament is made up of polymer of look at here there is a globular structures are there we call f actin many many f actin proteins are twisted helical in structure look at here it is a twisted helical in structure you get my point along with this f actin globular protein there are one more sub contractile unit protein is going look at here this completely line to this f actin globin that is called a tropomyosin one more protein also present in this actin called a tropomyosin number one actin filament is called a thin filament like that it is made up of many monomer protein to this many uh, many monomer proteins are helical structure am i clear this helical structure this all globular proteins are called f actin proteins along with this one one more sub contractile unit protein is there called tropomyosin now look at here apart from this tropomyosin one more protein is there that is called what will me troponin that mean in the actin filament f globular proteins are there troponin is there tropomyosin three are there three proteins are there keep in mind moreover student if you look at this troponin troponin is that protein which is mask the myosin binding site just now i told you the myosin filament will lift up and attach to the actin so wherever it attaching to that actin that acting site will be blocked or masked by this troponin during resting time when muscle is not contracting that mean the muscle resting time this troponin function is to block or mask the myosin binding sites more about this one i'll explain you in the sliding filament theory so there are two contractile proteins in the muscle fibril number 1 actin and number 2 myosin look at here look at here one more thing i wanted to show you look at here this is myosin i told you right look at the myosin head part take one atp take one atp atp binding site it hydrolyzes into adp and inorganic phosphate it lift up the head and attach to the actin i it pull towards the center of the a band so this process called cross bridge formation this is a one of the important uh, uh, step in the sliding filament theory i'll explain you in the sliding filament theory but remember all of you myosin is the thick filament receive it take one atp lift up and attach to the actin and pull it towards the center of a band that process called power stroke and cross bridge formation you got my point so so far we have been understood actin filament structure myosin filament structure later in next video we are going to understand the complete myofibril structure